Hey, my name is Rustin with Fine Pigtails, and uh, today we are going to do a uh, video on a D-pin and repin of a connector. All right, so today what we're going to do is a, a D-pin repin of one of our most popular connectors. This is part number L64A2. This is actually uh, a very common one used on like Dodge Chargers, things like that, a lot of Mopar vehicles. Um, it's side marker. It's going to be a, a fog lamp DRL for Mercedes, different cars and uh, we'll show you how to remove the wires and uh, reinstall them. So the first thing, whenever you have something that's a different color than the main body of the connector, it's usually a secondary lock. So this little pink piece here is actually a secondary lock. What we're gonna wanna do is remove it, pull it to the side, and so we can do that with a screwdriver. We'll just take our screwdriver and get right in between those two pieces, pull that out. You don't have to take it all the way out, it actually kinda has a spot where it'll stop. and. Um, from there, once you've got that pulled back. All right, so once we've got the uh, secondary catch moved over, all we have to do is uh, on these pins, push down the catch, because it's actually built into the pin. So we'll push it down at the same time, then we'll pull the wire out. So let me show you here, kind of get my hands in position. So I'll push that catch down just a little bit, and then we'll pull the wire out, just like that. So second one. We're just going to push that catch down, pull that wire back, and sometimes you can kind of manipulate it a little bit more. Let me make sure I've got this guide right in the right position. There we go. And then you can pull it out. And what you notice I had to do there was that secondary catch was pulled back a little too far, um, and there's two little notches. So this is the secondary position, and it was just past it. So if you ever notice that, if you're having trouble getting the pins out, kind of check your guide. And uh, the all the way in, that's your lock position. And, I had just gone too far past it. So it's depinned. Now what we'll do, I'm gonna move it back, depin this one. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall them. Pretty simple. The spring loaded catch that's built into the pin, just make sure that's oriented correctly. So we've got our opening here on the connector. So have them both facing up, slide it into the back, and you, it'll click. You might not be able to hear that on camera, but uh, once you hear that click, you know it's locked in position. Second one, we'll slide that down in there. Once it clicks and locks in place, you can kind of pull the wire, make sure it won't go. Then I push them forward all the way, push that secondary lock down, and then you're good to go. It's ready to go.